To the story of the fuel shortage crisis in the country, hundreds of Kenyans were today stranded on the road with many petrol stations turning away motorists due to unavailability of the product. According to sources who spoke to Citizen TV, the fuel shortage has been attributed to deliberate hoarding by the major oil marketing companies who import fuel into the country after the National Treasury failed to pay for the fuel subsidy for four months in a row. Faisal Ahmed has more. Long queues of vehicles piled up at petrol stations as the fuel crisis in the country continues to persist. Motorists stranded again in the desperate search for petrol. A spot check by Citizen TV has revealed that a big number of fuel stations around the country are turning away motorists as they run out of the critical product. In Nairobi's central business district, most petrol stations did not have fuel, with a few that had the commodity rationing it, limiting customers to only fuel for 2,000 shillings. Uh, the fuel shortage was hurting drivers and public transport sector users alike. Some motorists were left stranded on the road. The situation has caused panic buying among motorists and attendants were doing a brisk trade in selling fuel in jerry cans with desperate motorists using motorbikes to ferry the commodity to their vehicles. In Kericho County, the situation was worse with all fuel stations in the county shutting down due to the shortage. Motorists from Western Kenya have also been forced to drive hundreds of kilometers to get fuel from neighboring Uganda as the fuel shortage in the country continues to disrupt transport. Border Border riders in Busia County said that they'll have to hike prices in order to cater for the increase in fuel prices as some have had to travel for long distances to get the commodity. <laughs> The same was replicated in Kisi County, where long queues were witnessed, with border border riders complaining that motor vehicles were being given priority over them. But the question on the minds of many Kenyans is what is causing the shortage. According to sources who spoke to Citizen TV, oil marketing companies that import fuel into the country are holding their supply over payment that the National Treasury is to make to them on the fuel subsidy. Further, it is said that the National Treasury has not remitted the funds to them for the last three months. In its February fuel price review, the Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Authority saved motorists from paying 20 shillings more on a litre of petrol due to the state subsidy that has kept pump prices unchanged for the fourth month in a row. Without the subsidy, the shortage is likely to have a knock-on effect to public transportation, with customers likely to part with 133 shillings for a litre of diesel and 144 and 25 cents for a litre of petrol and 119 shillings and 42 cents for kerosene. With the fuel shortage now hitting most parts of the capital, motorists are hoping that the standoff between the oil marketing companies and the government can be resolved as soon as possible to avert an even bigger crisis. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.